Hello, my name is Kamond, and in today's video, I'll show you five useful Redstone machines. Oh, and before we start, please do me a favor and consider subscribing and hit the like button. Thank you. Let's get into the video. Let's start with the first Redstone machine, and that is Minecart Unloader. I use this design in loads of my farms, and it's super simple. Basically, you just get, a, get some items, throw them in here. Let me show you. Alpha stack of grass blocks. Go here, pick the lever. The minecart will go there, pick them up. Stop here on top of this hopper and drop the items inside this chest. And once the hopper minecart is empty, as you'll soon see, it will start moving by itself. And if there's more items in here, like this grass block, it'll stop, drop the item, do the same thing again and again and again. You can turn this off manually by flicking this lever, like so. But yeah, you can leave it on all the time if you'd like to. And here you can see how the minecart unloader works in action. Here's a simple sugarcane farm. Let me demonstrate. Let's add some sugarcane up there. And then the minecart will pick it up. Drop it down inside this chest. And yeah, so simple and so useful. Now let me show you how to do this part. Now let's start in here and make a small area for the power trails. The power trails go here. I have to place one block behind here, so the Minecraft will come back. And then we have to power this on. Then in here we will place a chest. And crouch, and right click it with a hopper. So it will connect as you can see. Then a second block here, with a regular rail. Then crouch and place the power trail on top. And in here goes a redstone comparator. One block behind it, and one block above. And in here we will place another block as well. Other here goes a redstone torch, and then in here goes a redstone repeater. And don't touch the redstone comparator or the repeater. I mean, if you do this, it won't work, so leave it as it is. Then we will take the hopper minecart and test this out. Let's take a few items, eight smooth stone blocks, and we'll go here, drop the items inside here. And we'll pick up the chest and drop it in here as well. Just amazing, I gotta say. This works nicely in mob farms. In sugarcane farms, bamboo farms, all those things. And yeah, it doesn't have to be a straight line, as you can see. It'll work even with loads of turns. So yeah, amazing. Then the next one. The next redstone machine is a redstone clock. It's quite simple. Let's place some redstone dust here. And like a piston. Piston goes here, redstone dust in here. If you click the lever, turn the clock on. And this happens. Yeah, not too exciting, but this is super useful in mob farms and such. My favorite thing about this redstone clock design is that it doesn't use any sticky pistons. And yeah, it's silent as well. But in here, you can see the e throw hopper clock. A great design as well, uses two slime blocks and a redstone block in between. It's not silent, but not too loud. And you can also make this tileable like this. So yeah, amazing and super simple. Etho hopper clock. Now for the first hopper clock you will need these items. Four hoppers, two pieces of redstone dust, two redstone torches, four redstone comparators, seven peeling blocks and a lever. Now let me show you how to build this thing. So it's super simple, as you can see in here. Two blocks, redstone torches on top, Behind here, let's place two redstone comparators. Again, two blocks, two redstone comparators. And above in here, let's place a block in here for now. Crouch and right click the block so the hopper will connect to it. The second hopper, and you have to make sure that they are pointing into each other like this. And the same thing in here. Two blocks in here. Again, two hoppers. Make sure they connect. And yeah, basically it. If you want to turn this off, block here, two pieces of redstone dust, place them while crouching, and then a lever in here. Oh, three pieces of redstone dust. My bad, my bad. So yeah, quite simple. But that's not all. Down here, you'll have to place one item. Any item will do, but I will place one smooth stone block. And now it's going crazy. Now, I have to place more blocks inside these hoppers. Place 10 blocks inside, it will slow down. 
you can fill this up all the way. I think to make the clock so much more longer. So yeah, just try it out and see what fits best for your purposes. Now for the Etho Hopper clock. One of my favorite designs out there, even though I think I like this a little bit more, but this is genius. And it's the old design as well. So you need two redstone comparators, two hoppers, two building blocks, two sticky pistons, redstone block, and two pieces of redstone dust. Simple. Let's show you how to make this. Place a piston down, and then the redstone block in here. Then two blocks out from the piston, let's place this here. One, two, and the sticky piston. Then behind the sticky pistons, redstone dust, building blocks, comparators, as you can see, you have to point into these hoppers. Comparators go here, and then the hoppers, they also have to point each other again. As you can see, that's important. Then you place item inside, it goes crazy. Place more items inside, it slows down. Let's leave like 15 items inside there. And yeah, simple and amazing and super useful again for mob farms. Here's the tileable version. I'll not show you how to build this thing because it's so simple as you can see. Just build what you see running here and place some items inside. Also, if you want to turn this off, just place a lever here and flick it on. Simple. Just so simple. From hopper clocks, it go to the droppers. A dropper clock to be exact. And as you can see, sticky piston, two observers, comparator and a dropper. And how this works is like this. You place some items inside and yeah, the dropper will shoot them out. This also works with dispensers if you want to shoot arrows or something like that as well. The only downside is that this uses a sticky piston once again. But if you'd like to see some more dropper clock designs, Check the link up on the card right now. There's five different dropper clock designs. All of them are quite useful, I gotta say, so go check it out if you're interested. Now, let me show you how to build this one. So, the dropper goes here on front. Comparator, and down here, just place a sticky piston. And the observer pointing into this side. Second observer on top. And, yeah, it's done. It's simple. It might be even too simple. Let's try this out. Yeah, it works flawlessly. Just amazing. This design is super useful for like, again, for mob farms and other farms as well. Let's say you you have a hopper pointing into this hopper. You have a chest in here where your mob loot goes from the mob farm. Let's place some rotten flesh inside. He throws them out. You can place a lava in here if you don't want to run flesh. Or if you like to save the items, you can take some glass blocks and some water. And then you can like move the items from spot A to spot B. Quite useful, am I right? And uh, I gotta say, droppers are super useful in this game. So let's go to the design number three, or the machine number three. And that design is a silent dropper elevator. So let's try this once again. Let's take 16 grass blocks. The droppers will move them up. We go up here. You'll see that all the 16 grass blocks will come up here. Now this thing is super useful in the network because you can make bubble elevators. Of course the overworld bubble elevators are... I mean they might be more handy. But in the network this thing is a must. And also once again if you want to see some other dropper elevator designs. I had three of them in the video up on the card right now. Three different dropper elevator designs. So yeah, go check it out. Also in the description. So here's the items you need for a dropper elevator that is 10 blocks tall. So, there's moonstone, 10 droppers, 19 observers, 1 hopper, 1 redstone repeater, 1 redstone comparator, 5 pieces of redstone dust, and 2 chests. Not that much, but yeah, if you want to make it taller, you of course need some more observers and more droppers. Now let me show you how this works. Firstly, let's take out a dropper and place it in here. Let me mirror this on this side, so it's easier for you. Then, redstone comparator, redstone dust and a repeater. Then, a observer pointing to this redstone dust. Let's also move the redstone dust in here, so it's on the right spot. 
So do you tease or tease? It's mirrored, so you can see it perfectly. Then take out the droppers and go nine more blocks up. Ten blocks if you come from this dropper. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then you take out the building blocks. The same thing in here. All the way up. Now let's place some observers above this one. Make sure the red circle is pointing up. So these observers are face down. Except this bottom one. So go all the way up in here. Like that, and then place the rest of the observers in here. Once again, the red circle pointing towards the droppers. Like that. Amazing. Now, we need a hopper and two chests. Hopper goes here, chest in here, then one chest above in here. Now let's try this out. Let's take out 16 random items. Let's just take like crimson nylium, that's kind of random, right? And place them inside here. Items will go up. And soon we'll have 16 crimson nylium up inside this chest. Amazing. Let's try it with like potatoes, maybe. So 16 potatoes. And once again, this will be up in here in no time. Six more. And then we are done. Yes, it works flawlessly. But yeah, this is kind of nice. A silent dropper elevator. It's kind of huge, but keep in mind. I mean, I don't know much how to keep in mind. It's useful, all right? It is useful and awesome. And I gotta say, even though it looks kind of ugly, it's still kind of cool. Then design number five. The thing you have all been waiting for. It's this one. Small auto smelter. And... A cabinet. What do you mean? This is not a redstone machine. Where's the redstone? And I know, I know. This is not the main focus. It's just a basic idea. Let me show you. They got some coal. And some beef. Place the beef above in here. And the coal in here. And it keeps out smelting the items. Yeah. That's the most basic iron smelter you can get. But because this video is five must have or useful redstone machines. This doesn't cut it. But this does. A 16 furnace wide automatic super smelter. And I gotta say, this thing is crazy. Now take out the beef and the coal. You can also use any UL you'd like to, like dried kelp blocks and all that stuff. So, no, wrong chest. In here goes fuel. In here goes items you want to smell. Click the lever, also in here. And as you can see, here's also the automatic minecart unloader. So yeah, combine two designs and got this. Amazing. And soon all the items will be smelted and inside in the altar there's still some iron inside there. But yeah, this is super fast. If you want to build the whole design, check the link up on the card right now. It's a full tutorial. And yeah, this must be my favorite thing on this top 5 list. That's why it's the last one as well. Yeah, look at that. I mean, not that beautiful, but it sure is handy and useful, and it's super fast. Of course it's fast. It's a super smelter. But anyways, that's all. Five useful resto machines. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments. Also, hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed, why not consider subscribing? Anyways, my name is Cayman, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm,